Hello everyone, this is Gorak. Today I want to show you my Thunderball team in Season 4 where the Thunderball has become meta early in the game when it comes to the Temporal Vortex and look at this damage, almost 21 million with Orfina trailing behind Perkunte. Orfina is a great addition to the Thunderball team and I'll go over this team build right now. So these are the current standings. Obviously, not everyone has saved their score. But looking at this, I'm currently ranked 2. But I will be overtaken. As you can see, multiple players yesterday has done over 21 million. These are the Korean players that did over 20 million. And I'm expecting to be below them. But if you look at their teams, let's look at the 21 million Flora with exclusive artifact and inspiration. Then we have... 5 i5 Dauntless, we have i5 Dauntless again with i2 Nastienka, Flora, i5, and the last one, Beldel with high inspiration. Now, my team doesn't have that inspiration. I'm not shown here on the rank yet on today's ranking. This is the team uh, that made it happen. I'm very happy with the team performance. Thunderbolt is definitely back, and those of you who had Perkumte in season two and couldn't use him now is your chance as long as you get Orfina so make sure you get her now looking at the team let's start with the main damage dealer so Orfina using a scar up matriarch's game this gem is actually a very powerful artifact as on top of attack and attack percentage we're also gaining 32 percent crit rate which is very hard to get early in the game as you can see i don't have anything with crit rate on my equipment i'm just barely utilizing this because the equipment i have is terrible but we need this set we need attack speed on her as much as possible and since we can't have runes unlocked yet we need this we need the attack speed because her damage comes from auto attacks and as you can see a little bit of accuracy i don't actually have a good chest of this of predator set to compare if i had an attack chest i'll try and play her without accuracy and see if the damage will go up but i don't and since i have accuracy one i just put it and played it safe then perkunte i'm not even using an exclusive artifact on perkunte because this acts uh, this artifact in the early game is so much better because again we're getting extra crit rate and crit damage um and i'm using whatever i have when it comes to the equipment the best equipment i can have so crit rate gloves uh, to maximize the crit rate so i'm at 60 percent from the equipment plus 30 percent here so i'm at 90 percent crit rate already early in the game at level 70 so that is what's making it so powerful but other teams can use it as well right so what else well the next big thing is obviously astayan with horn uh she is the tank in the team as well the team can survive over 210 stacks and we're building her as a tank because we're utilizing her passive which reduces the boss's defense of by 30 percent basically granting everyone in the team damage increase. Ardref, with which is remain in accuracy with full haste, and we have another defense down, basically. And Scenario utilizing Pipe Organ to boost Perkuntes and Orfina's attack. He's got almost 2,000 attack, utilizing whatever I have with the highest attack percentage that I can get. We're gonna use defensive aura. I tried the enlightenment one, it didn't work well. Uh, but also another important thing that I want to go over quickly is the timings as they are very essential. This is what makes it break. And quickly a look at the equipment again and then the skill timings. Orfina, you want her on default she casts her ultimate every 20 seconds but for 15 seconds she's got this attack speed up and all the basic attacks will shoot two extra bullets we just want her roll we want her to cast it as often as possible to boost Perkunte's damage. He's getting all these extra stacks on his passive when she uh, refreshes Electrocuted. So this allows us to deal damage, but we want to delay Perkunte even further. We want to ensure we have the horn buff and we can stack his artifact to maximum as well. I try running Perkunte on default. I try running him a little bit earlier. Both results were worse. This is what makes it so powerful because we will have the horn from uh, Astayan. She will heal three seconds. We'll have the max um, buff of horn available plus 
all the stacks from his artifact as well and then we boom hit with huge crits because we have 90% crit rate our draft again on full auto and this is what makes this fight quite rng as well okay because we have our draft on auto with witches remain sometimes the witches remain are not applied when perkuntes ultimate deals damage but that's still fine if you try to time uh, our draft you will have way lower damage and scenario basically making sure our tank survives or whoever because i'm playing that on 10 speed so i do not manually fight it once we get to 150 stacks this does not matter we're only using the heal portion before the, the third skill of the boss hits and as you can see 20 million damage that is high damage so early in the game i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching, stay safe, bye!